What would really impress me, I think, would be the limb, growing a limb thing. I think, Elijah, did you say you've mm-hmm. actually seen this or documented No, no, no. I said heard? theoretically. Oh. I, I have not oh, seen theoretically. that. Theoretically, yeah, that so would impress I, I, me because yeah. that we know humans can't do. Salamanders could do it. Mm-hmm. They can grow back mm-hmm. a limb. Certain lizards, you know, their tail falls off and, and they grow it back. Um, and so why can't humans do that? Well, it's not in our DNA to do that. So if that mm-hmm. happened, you know, let's say a, a, a war veteran from Afghanistan comes back and he's missing a leg and his Christian family prays for him and the leg grows back and we could, you know, presumably this would happen in, in some, over some period of time. It can't, it, it's not like the leg is just going to pop in there in a, in a millisecond. So, you know, if you documented that, like here's a video of this leg growing back, you know, like a time lapse video like you'd see a salamander growing back a limb that would do it for me Mm -hmm. what what would it do for you though just i'm interested in this michael because i wanted to ask you this very question which is what would the bar be where would would the level of evidence need to be for you that this was i mean would would it convince you that something really bizarre had happened or would it convince you that god has healed this person what what would it be both both and and that, that would I would entertain that <laughs> hypothesis more than I would have before. Okay, the second one, the you mm-hmm. know the, the God did it. Yeah, 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 that would do it. it. It would bring you a lot closer to believing there might be something in this yeah, whole God yeah. thing yeah, than yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Well, well, Craig, there is a website out there called Why Won't God Heal Amputees, and at one level, it would be great, wouldn't it? I mean, Elijah, that would have been the one thing he needed in his documentary right. to kind of seal the deal, video evidence of a limb growing back. Why, you know, given the fact that we have a proliferation of cameras, video devices and everything in the century we live in, why are those kinds of very obvious, extraordinary cases of healing not yet documented? I don't know if there are cases you've heard of perhaps where such things have been reported but as far as i'm aware we've never seen any video documentary evidence of something quite that spectacular have we not not one that wasn't doctored um but in in terms of some of the other things like macular degeneration undegenerating when it's you know i mean we do have we do have cases like that that are medically documented we have the before and after there was one published in a medical journal within recent years. I think Elijah alluded mm-hmm. to that. Um, there are um, a number of other cases. The one, the one that, uh, in terms of something growing back, I mean, that's I think the case of Bruce Van Natta is a is a case in point because the small intestine doesn't grow longer in an adult. Mm-hmm. It can grow wider, but but not longer. He only had. It was estimated 25 centimeters left of his ilium, which is normally 350 centimeters. That's why he was he was starving. He felt a shock when his friend laid hands on him and prayed for him. I I read the note from his doctor that said that his small intestine had more than doubled in length, and we can't prove it happened exactly at that moment. But it, you know, the next time they tested him, his his small intestine had more than doubled in length. Admittedly. You know, if you actually want to measure it, you'd have to cut him open and unroll it, which kind of, it's kind of counter to the point of the miracle in the first place because you'd kill him. But, <laughs> yeah. um, but, but then we also have uh, with that the gastroparesis healing with Chris Gunderson, uh, which, which did make it into a medical journal. So that, I mean, that was, uh, I, I, I interviewed Chris about this and, that was, it happened when Bruce prayed for him. He also felt an electric shock for the like eight or 10 minutes that Bruce was praying. Immediately after that, he was able to eat. So, I mean, it is something growing back. It's not as visible <laughs> as is like an arm or, or leg growing back. I don't know that we have a lot of this in the Bible. We have things like what they call withered hands becoming unwithered. Um, but uh, yeah. I have interviewed some people about, you know, who've said they've seen things grow back, but I have not uh, seen any video. Yeah, that would be good. For more conversations between Christians and skeptics, subscribe to the Unbelievable podcast. And for more updates and bonus content, sign up to the Unbelievable newsletter.